Good morning, John Stump. I hope you have a pleasant day and there aren't too many tricks. It's a treat for you. No one pins a fish on you. Um, I passed out to you um, a document which discusses an opportunity you have to free up $16,650,000, or at least talk about it. Um, and that's presented on the back of this chart, um, which talks about the AIG level salaries that the city of San Diego is supporting at some of its contractors that are tax funded. If you notice, you have organizations like the San Diego Opera, which is paying a salary without not including benefits and uh, expenses of some $563,000 a year. Um, earlier last month, the blog of San Diego had a very good piece by Pat Flannery on the Charter 77 zoo tax of some $10.6 million or $9.6 million. That money is supposed to be used only for maintenance of zoo activities, the zoo itself. And uh, so recently there was a proposal by Mr. Gloria to um, oppose spending uh, CIP money for maintenance of the zoo parking lot. Uh, and that money, I think, should come out, if we're going to maintain anything for the zoo, should come out of their $9.6 million dollars as required by the Charter. Um, so on this page, the front of it, I present, it's got some pictures of some uh, women on it, I present some policies to consider. And uh, first is support Bal Balboa Park institutions like commercial leases or the way the Port of San Diego treats its seaport village tenants. Triple net charges for the park and rec maintenance around the institutions. Deduct the value of this maintenance from TOT funds and recover a percentage of sales, you know, like they sell t-shirts or those sort of things, from these institutions. And finally, establish a fair market ground rent. Second policy, no organization should be eligible for city tax support if they pay their executive more than the executive director of the Park and Rec Department. They pay them more than $143,000, they are not eligible. Um, the city should support organizations that have board of directors that are primarily from the city of San Diego and are balanced, women and uh, persons of color. Uh, finally, you know, I give you this article of these, you see these lovely ladies uh, having a wonderful time at this private party that Burl Stiff is uh, promoting. Burl Stiff says they raised 700000 That's the gross, not the net. And if you look at their tax returns, it seems like they actually lost money on that event. 